Hi, I'm Marigal Rios at BPI TV. I'm here with Sara Redcliffe from the California Life Sciences Association. Hi, Sara. Good to see you. Good to see you too. What is what does CLSAC as the two most influencing factors in the life sciences industry today? Sure, well there's a couple of really important factors uh, influencing the life sciences industry. The first is the policy environment at the federal and the state level. Um, currently we have both great opportunities and great challenges. I think on the uh, opportunity front with um, an extraordinary number of companies here in California pursuing really innovative uh, both technologies, um, research and development programs toward new therapeutics, new diagnostics, et cetera. Uh, it is really important that at the federal and state level there be um, a supportive regulatory reimbursement, intellectual property, and so forth environment. Um, and there have been a couple of pieces of really terrific legislation, including what's called the user fee legislation, what's called the 21st Century Cures Act, that really um, invested in the future of the creation of those products. On the challenge side, um, there are always concerns, uh, and, and they are in many ways valid, about making sure that patients have access to products, that they are affordable, um, and also uh, that the whole healthcare system is focused on value. We at CLSA are extremely supportive of that, um, but we are concerned about misguided proposals that, for example, in an effort to restrain cost, might really restrain research and development and also um, access for patients. So what is CLSA doing to help its members respond to those challenges? Well, we have a terrific team of uh, advocates at the federal and state level. We have three people in Washington, D.C. We have five in Sacramento. Uh, and the role of those team members is really to identify and address both those opportunities and challenges um, from an advocacy perspective. What about the bioprocess industry? So bioprocessing, I think, is particularly sensitive to a very advanced uh, regulatory environment. Uh, there are also specific reimbursement challenges associated with certain bioprocess products. So I'm not sure that the challenges um, and opportunities are different, uh, but I do think that um, the advocacy work that we do, again, particularly around the regulatory environment, may be um, especially impactful for the bioprocessing industry. Regarding the promise of cell and gene therapies, what does CLSA see that manufacturers can do to help define their processes so that these therapies can be approved for use? Well, um, there are a lot of uh, specific technical um, uh, changes, I think, that could be made in the regulatory environment. But from a CLSA perspective, I'd stick at the very high level and say um, it is important for companies to participate in trade associations' efforts to um, interact with regulatory bodies. Um, the most obvious one is the Food and Drug Administration. The Food and Drug Administration is really the gold standard regulatory body uh, for the world. Um, it has extraordinary uh, staff, um, but its finances are uh, always under pressure. Um, it is important that the um, sector work with the agency to make sure that it is well informed in advance of um, novel technologies that are coming down the pike so that a regulatory pathway can be developed. So organizations like ours work with the uh, agency continuously to make sure that the resources are there, um, both in terms of funding, um, in terms of uh, public and policy maker support, and in terms of personnel that can really be responsive to these great new advances. Does CLSA see any policies or trends in California that bioprocessing industry or the life sciences industry needs to be aware of or maybe become involved in from an advocacy standpoint? Um, sure, so California is extraordinarily privileged um, to have a tremendous pace of innovation. 
Um, it has been that way from the beginning of the biotechnology and the state. Um, but it's really extraordinary now as, um, as our member companies, both um, traditional companies and then our uh, emerging entrepreneurial companies, um, take advantage of, of uh, emerging trends like digital health. So we're seeing these incredible relationships between um, healthcare companies and technology companies, for example. So the pace of innovation in California um, and the, the new directions that are available is really extraordinary. Um, I would say that's uh, important for bioprocessing companies anywhere, um, but it's really particularly evident here in California. Um, something else that is uh, important here in California, going back to the theme of advocacy, is that our uh, state legislature um, really leads across the nation in terms of developing and implementing new state level policies, again, whether they be regulatory or reimbursement. And so where California goes, others tend to follow. And it's really important that in California, with the strength of the life sciences ecosystem that we have, uh, that we really serve as a model for how to foster um, innovation that helps uh, patients and consumers throughout the world. What are you most proud of with your work at CLSA and its members? Well, um, I think what I'm most proud of for our organization is its uh, connection to and representation of this great state. California is the sixth largest uh, economy in the world. And our team really um, has to be extraordinary and is extraordinary um, in order to, to meet the needs of uh, California. Um, and so we work uh, at every level, um, federal, where we have a tenth of Congress is uh, from the California delegation, um, at the state level, and also at the local level throughout the state to make sure that that advocacy environment remains strong, and also that we're connecting the various parts of the life sciences ecosystem together. So our commercial companies, our not-for-profit academic research institutes, um, the professional services firms that support uh, the sector, um, patient groups, other thought leaders. Um, the task uh, that, that our association has is really an extraordinary one and I'm just uh, very proud of the, the team they, that we have and our ability to meet that challenge. Excellent. Thank you very much for talking to me today. It's good Thank to see you. Thank you. Good to see you. This is Mary Bell from BPI TV. Stay tuned for more.